When I was born, I was born without visual depth perception, and so over time I've had five eye surgeries. And in the course of that, one nurse asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and at the time I wanted to be an astronaut. And they said, you can't be that because of your eyes. And so I was like, because of that, I'm going to pursue it. That determination led Erica Hawkins into a career in aerospace manufacturing. And although she hasn't been to space, as a mechanical engineer at UTC Aerospace Systems in Windsor Lux, Connecticut, Erica has designed parts that function at nearly 50,000 feet above ground. I am in the AMS, Air Management Systems, and then I'm in the Heat Exchanger and Installation Group, which means in terms of what I'll be designing, it'll be mostly things on the environmental control systems on airplanes. So what keeps the cabins warm, what keeps things pressurized, what makes sure your air conditioning works on airplane, those are the kind of components that I'd be working with to design. UTC Aerospace Systems is also a global supplier of industrial parts and is the prime contractor for NASA's spacesuit life support system. They do a very good job of merging design and manufacturing because on the manufacturing floor you see the implementation and the creation of what you're actually doing. The manufacturing engineer is essentially what gives life to the ideas that the design engineers come up with. When I was in sophomore year of high school, I was really interested in chemistry, but when I went to my junior year of high school, I became really interested in physics. And that was the difference between me becoming a materials engineer and an aerospace engineer, because I realized that my interest was more in physics. I've been working on MRJ, ERJ, US 101. Along with physics, Erica also enjoys problem solving. You have to be able to look at a problem critically and figure out the best design solution for it. And so that might be figuring out the correct geometry to fix something or go back into your aerospace training and say, the airflow of this isn't working for various reasons. Erica says there are misconceptions when it comes to women and engineering. Women often don't feel like they deserve to be there. Because when you look into engineering fields, you don't see a lot of people that look like you. But Women in engineering really need to just press on. Even if you feel like you're failing, it doesn't mean you don't belong there. It's just that everyone has challenges and difficulties along the way. Being a design engineer is fun because you kind of finally get the freedom to do whatever you want. In school, they give you equations and they give you essentially a process for going about solving the problems that are prescribed. When you are designing your own part, you run into the problems that you may not have even thought existed before and you get to come up with your own creative solutions to find them. A lot of the times you're fixing problems that came up in the past and it's really satisfying to know that you're part of the solution.